In a war of attrition, it's economics at least as much as important as military discussion. So it's fine to discuss F-16s and tanks and so on and so forth, but the heart of this matter is going to be economic sustainability and resilience. The Russians have figured this out because they're going after the infrastructure, they're going after the shelter, they're trying to sort of chase people out. And so, in essence, my focus has been that you have an estimated $300 billion of Russian reserves that are frozen. Mm -hmm. So I'm not talking about the private money, which runs oligarchs and others, which is politically interesting, but frankly, it's a different issue. And here's where I think this is critical for policy now. Number one, uh, Ukraine needs about 3 to $5 billion a month simply to keep going. This is not military supplies. Okay? Uh, secondly, in terms of the Russians, since they understand this is partly economic warfare, it would send a signal to them that they won't be able to kill Ukraine economically, and in fact, they're up against the economic strength of the West. 